Hi, it's Guy Murray here, and this short video forms part of a series of videos that accompany my book entitled Artist Management, Agility in the Creative and Cultural Industries. And this video specifically relates to Chapter 7, Conclusions, The Future of Artist Management, and the latter two sections of this chapter. Culture Counts is a digital evaluation platform for measuring cultural impact. It enables users to monitor the impact of their projects in real time. By providing multiple methods of electronic data collection, Culture Counts can better facilitate the use of the Lean Startup and effectuation methods for startups within the context of the arts. As I discussed in Chapter 3, the Lean Startup and effectuation methods are useful for addressing the complexity and uncertainty that stems from attempts to answer the arts investment related questions What is art? What is art for? What good are the arts? How can we sell art? As the attempt to answer these questions in Chapter 3 demonstrated, these are fiendishly difficult questions to answer, and this is why, as Radborn et al. found, arts managers often find it difficult to articulate exactly what audiences get out of the experiences they help to create. Both the lean startup and effectuation methods askew more traditional business planning and provide a way to control a future that is inherently unpredictable and extremely uncertain. And while the experience of engaging with an artwork or performance may simply not be able to be put into words, culture counts can provide some of the data required to inform decisions in this uncertain context. On culture counts website, they state, imagine a scenario where cultural organizations around the world are measuring the quality of their work using a standardized set of metrics that they themselves have shaped. Imagine they are using new mobile technologies and web-served databases to benefit from real-time data analytics, gaining immediate insight into the cultural experiences of their audiences, participants and peers. Imagine they are using this data to make better cultural programming decisions, focus marketing efforts and grow audiences. Imagine too that they are connecting, benchmarking and sharing these insights to attract greater support and resources for themselves in the sector. This is the scenario that Culture Counts has been striving to create, working in close partnership with the cultural sector in England and Australia. End quote. As I outlined in Chapter 5, many of the managers interviewed for this project envisaged their role as helping to build a story about their artist, which is then used to coordinate, persuade and motivate the various entities and people who work for the artist. Services such as Culture Counts arguably have a role to play in the future of artist management through the way in which the data collected using their tools can help artists and artist managers to produce richer stories about their unique impact and value, facilitate deeper engagement and interaction with audiences and communities, and build stronger cases for support and investment. The future of artist management, therefore, will arguably involve using the qualitative and quantitative data that services such as Culture Counts can help collect to shape impact and value stories within the sector. The five key principles informing the operation of Culture Counts are as follows. Quote, one, standardise the definitions of indefinite terms like quality so as to create a common descriptive language. Two, give control of that language to the sector. Three, modernise the means of data collection, analysis and reporting so that it operates in real time and very low cost. Four, enable organisations across the world to compare their results and insights, thereby strengthening the combined voice of the sector. Five, engage arts funders and investors to ensure that funding decisions are driven by data, thereby ensuring long-term sustainable access to those resources. Services such as Culture Counts can provide the data artists and artist managers need to substantiate arguments concerning the social and cultural value of what they do, in addition to the economic value. Thank you very much.